Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Betty Atruder. Welcome back to Fallout 4, you only live once. Well, last time, we retreated like cowards out of Nuka World, because, well, things got a bit, uh, dicey over there. And I figured it might be better to come back when we've got some more advanced technology, in particular, a jetpack. And today, I announced confidently we were going to Far Harbor, which makes me think I must have been cocking drunk last week. So yes, just for the time being, scratch that, that is a really bad idea because here's what I need. I need XP to level up at the lowest risk possible and I need endurance and there's a much better way than going to Far Harbor to get all of that because, okay, let's talk about what I need to do to officially win this challenge. So, number one, base game needs to be complete. Fine, just get to one of the endings, no trouble, but then there's the DLC. Now, this game had seven bits of DLC. Probably we could just, you know, exclude the high texture pack, not particularly interesting. Then there was contraptions and workshops. So both of them just added stuff to your bases. No missions, no anything. It can't be completed. So, okay, exclude them as well. Then you've got the big ticket items. Nuka World, Far Harbor. We need to do them. No trouble there. And then there's the ones in the middle. Okay, Automatron, that I've been firmly trying not to do, because the moment you activate it, kill swarms start appearing in the Commonwealth, and they won't go away when Automatron's completed, so we're going to be wanting to do that last. But, 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 then there's vault It is rather easy to forget this, but yes, vault is a proper bit of DLC, only just, but it is there. It does come with its own locations that have enemies inside them, its own missions, etc, etc. It's pretty small, it's easy to complete, and uh, honestly, that makes it absolutely cocking perfect for today, because, uh, yeah, I do feel like this does need to be completed. I need to get to the end of the quest chain for this to actually be a complete YOLO run. So, okay, that there is a good spot to go and visit, because I can kill a whole bunch of birds with one stone in Volt 88. Though on the way out, don't forget, now I'm back home, a whole bunch of tools become available to me. So, yes, nuking people with artillery, that's back on the table. So just pick up a uh, handful of new uh, artillery smoke grenades, because you never know when they're going to be useful. And don't forget, I've got spare ammo here too. So, okay, there's a whole bunch of stuff I need to remember I've got actually stored away back home. Especially the charisma gear. Welcome back, lads, I've missed you. Also, I'm just sitting on seven stealth boys here, that's... Okay, that's a lot. Don't forget those exist. Right, in which case, you guys have a nice day. I'm off down south. So, okay, this should be a pretty nice, simple journey, all things considered. Because, plain and simple, Vault 88 is immediately south of Jamaica Plain. I have been there several times before. I've got a nice, safe path, cutting by Big John Salvage, going by to the checkpoint, going down to Jamaica Plain. This path has been mostly cleared, so... I will join you close by, unless, of course, I run into... Oh, God. This is a perfectly safe road, isn't it? A perfectly safe road, I've already cleared, where nothing can go wrong, and as a result... Oh, bloody hell. Right, um, I'll let you know when the ludicrous mega legendary Alpha Deathclaw literally drops out of the sky in front of me. And don't assume we're safe just because we're, you know, close to home. I've seen raiders and mutants on this road uh, just outside the base, so... Uh... Be careful, because yes, for some reason, this corner over here just seems to spawn raiders on occasion. I don't know why, it just cocking does. So that's fun, isn't it? Okay, past Diamond City, just be aware that, yeah, I've seen a couple of raiders attacking Diamond City from this direction. Yeah, at various times, so... I mean, there is a camp over to the left, I just... I don't know why sometimes they wander over here, but they just seem to. But again, so far, nice and calm. Then again, actually, do I even need to go all the way round? I will say all the way round. I was about to say, yeah, I could just follow the road, but the road leads down in this direction, which is uh, nowhere near the direction I want to go because there are still mutants near Fallon's. Yeah, in all fairness, going to Big John's is pretty much a straight line down towards Jamaica Plain, so that's fine. Oh, we've got a friend. Brotherhood of Steel Knights, same guy we've seen at this corner, right here just before I turn into Big John Salvage. So, uh, okay, he's still hanging around, no trouble with him whatsoever. In fact, yeah, I think I heard 
handful of bullets in the distance, but the fact he's here and calm means uh, I'm confident it's not nearby, otherwise he'd be getting involved. So, uh, honestly, that's fine. No trouble so far. Oh, okay. I've got something I don't like here, which is vertebrate and hang about. That is... The pilot is... That's Brotherhood, right? I'm pretty bloody confident that's Brotherhood. I'm just scared because this is the exact bit of the map I've seen a gunner bird before. And also, I don't have eyes on the location. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where's the... Where can I hide? Okay, there's plenty of cover. Stay close to Big John Salvage. If that thing starts being stupid... Where the flip is it? I don't know, but it's just... It's just gone, and I'm going to consider that a massive cocking win. Because I just don't want vertebrates nearby. Okay, they can be gunner birds. I've seen two of them so far. They're supposed to be... Oh! oh there it is. Okay, there's... there's. Alright. Hang about, that is... You're definitely just... Yeah, Brotherhood Lancer. Okay, fine. The problem is they might crash into you and they also might just decide... Hey, I'm going to... Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, draw attention in this direction. Which I do not cocking want. Okay, they're very loud and noisy and they draw attention. You don't really want them near you. I mean, you know, I don't care if they drop of a night or two. That's fine. But the rest of it, I'm not convinced by. Now, hang on. I think I might see something in the distance over there. Yeah, here we go. There was definitely gunfire by the Red Rocket. I think what's going on is... Okay. Possibly they're fighting the sentry bot over there. I'm... I'm not 100% sure, but I don't really want to get involved uh, until it's done. There is, yeah, gunfire going down. Because that there, that's the road I kind of want to be walking down in a sack. So, something's exploded. Okay, do you guys feel like you're done? Would you mind just leaving at this point? Because I'd appreciate it. No? They've still got something going on over there, and it is... Oh, it's a super mutant. Though, don't worry, he's got uh, that. Bloody hell, this place seems to never stop cocking producing super mutants. It's just, every time I come back here, the Brotherhood are back, and they find someone new to kill. Okay, he's just doing his own thing over there, but... The bird has gone. So, alright. We should be safe to start, uh... Moving on. I didn't want to move away from the house because uh, the house is cover in the event the bird decided to uh, crash in my direction. Just because, yeah, I'm pretty sure all the mutants in there are dead at this point. So, alright. Eyes open. Ready for trouble. Should be golden. On we flipping go. Marvellous. Okay, eyes open. From here we are only a stone's throw to... Uh, Jamaica Plain outskirts. I've already taken out all of that, so we should be in pretty good shape. Though, do just watch out. There might be the odd ghoul I missed on the outskirts, but for the time being, brackets looking nice and calm. Oh yeah, there's definitely something around here. That's too far away for it to be my settlers, so yeah, there might still be a ghoul hiding somewhere. But I've already taken out the vast majority, so we should be, especially on the streets, absolutely fine. Okay, here we go, safely in a Jamaica Plain. And don't forget, yes, I've now got good coverage in this part of the world. And hang on, what was that? I think it was just a leaf, we're fine. My destination is, yes, Volt 88. Jamaica Plain is definitely an artillery range. I would guess the marina is too. The castle might actually be in range as well. So we might be able to do a triple firing, or actually quintuple firing, because there are three cannons in the castle and each of them does add more shots in. So, oh yeah, we can just get in, dump the artillery grenade and then back off and let everybody else do the work. Oh, and good news guys, I've got some concrete on me for some reason. So you can have water. 
Not enough water, but still, congratulations. Though I'm going to be honest, I did build it for kind of selfish reasons, yes. Okay, in which case, time to move on. Now we're going into more dangerous territory. Stay away from the flooded town of Raiders. No need for any trouble with them. Because, yeah, I just want to stay close by to this area. Just kind of, you know, go between the Raiders and the Myalokes on the left. No trouble from anybody in a perfect world. This is a tight area where, yeah, you can really upset some uh, Myalok hunters on that side. Now, I'd be confident I can kill them, but I'd rather not, you know, have to bother. They are dangerous. They spit, and the spit really... Nothing. Possibly some really distant bullets, but that's fine now. Aha, here we go. That there. That's where we're going. So, this here quarry. We need to kill everybody in here. It is occupied by raiders. The problem we've got here is, yeah, this range I'm going to be losing power. Keep that in mind. You do lose power at extreme range. Now, if I could get close enough to put an artillery grenade in there, that'd be good. Because artillery grenades are a bit, you know, not precise. Just get one in there and uh, it'll do the job. Alright, the artillery will land uh, around it in a radius and... Was that a gunshot or... Okay, that was definitely a gunshot. But... It could have been from the nearby town of Gunners, not these bastards. It's kind of bright daylight right now, which I don't appreciate. Okay, what are we seeing? Scaver, Mark 1. Survivalist is a bit tougher, but honestly nothing too bad. Okay, no one's close to... Oh, hello. You're looking interested in something. Though, to be honest, you're kind of isolated. I don't think anyone's going to see you being dead. And there's... Oh! Hello! You're cocking back. When well, I say you're cocking back... Who are you? Who? It doesn't have a pilot! This vertebrate has... This vertebrate has no one aboard. This vertebrate has... We all saw that. It has no pilots. Okay? That vertebrate is just... That shouldn't be. That's not supposed to happen. Now it's landed. And it shouldn't really be able to land there either. So... Okay. Let's just ignore that vertebrate. Also... I can still hear it. At least it could for a second. Now it seems to have calmed down. Okay. Um... Someone's fighting over there. It's the Vertibird itself. The Vertibird is fighting raiders. Okay, it's fine. Let's just say that's fine. And let's just pretend this is all A-OK. -okay. And all we want to do is put down some, yeah, lovely, lovely fire. Screw it. This is going to be as close as I want to get. Just, just put it all the way over there. And now back off and hope. All right, just back off in this direction. And, I mean, okay, best confirm with the radio what's actually uh, going on here. Go over to uh, Minuteman. Come on, guys. You must have people in range for this. Right. Target locked in, General. Take cover. Incoming fire. All right, there we go. Confirmation. We got fire coming in. Stay back. They shouldn't be able to find me. Not at this range, but let's just hide back here just in case. All right. We have seen fire fail once before. Anytime you're all ready, lads. Guys. They're not playing music, which means they're in the middle of firing. Okay, bloody hell, is the artillery just bugged? Because we've had... Okay, we've definitely had one artillery... Oh, no, never mind. We're good. We're good. Right. In comes some fire. Lovely. Alright, just... 
Here we go. So there's... Oh, we got somebody! And we must go... Oh! Okay, hang about. There's fire. Does... We got someone else too. Okay, this is why we're in cover. I uh, don't like the fact they appear to be firing... In my direction. That's that's not cool. Because those bullets sounded close. There's some more. We should be nice and safe here. More right there too. I've taken out one. Artillery's taken out at least two. Eyes open. Just in case. And that's a lot of fire. Oh yeah, we must be in range of the castle. Because that's a lot of cocking fire. Coming in. And if they try and come at me, they'll walk straight into it. There's another one. That was a big one. 139. That must have been the survivalist. So they're kind of walking into it right now. Ceasing fire. Good luck. All right. Job done. I'm just going to wait to go back to hidden because I appear to be safe here. And then we'll evaluate what's left. Okay. Back to hidden. And that vertebrate's still just there. Don't really know what its deal was, but it's there. So everyone's... Did it just explode by any chance? Just after I was saying it's, uh, it's there. Okay, I think it might have just exploded, yes. So, okay, that's good. That means it can't take off and then crash at me. So, I'm going to consider this a massive win. So, okay, someone over there is still a bit freaked out. Possibly because all their friends are now, you know corpses and spread over several hundred square meters which is you know fair i suppose don't worry buddy i'll get you back to your friends momentarily because we got well weather conditions starting to go down a hill a bit i do have crits if need be i've got eyes on you no one's gonna see that so that's fine Okay, this mist doesn't help. The door, by the way, is yet. It's down at the bottom. Over there, around the corner. Those guys are already dead. They didn't get hit by me. They just uh, died anyway. Alright. Move in. Watch out. This area is heavily irradiated. We will need to ideally clear it. And then after we've cleared it, go in in a hazmat suit just to avoid the rats. Because, yeah, it's full of radiation. It's kind of bad. I see. Oh! Named character. Done. Crit. Finish you off. Lovely. So, okay. Their leader survived. Now, I did see someone running about. It could have been him. But he was down bottom and they were up top. Which would suggest... Oh, wait, 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 you see? You see right there? There's only a tiny, tiny amount of rads. But even so, I don't like this area. It's too, too cocking raddy. I could loop round to the top. But if I do that, then... I don't have the best visibility. And there we go. There's the scaver. Okay, buddy. And... Down you go, too. question is who's left I'm going to put a grenade just that's a normal grenade don't worry I did forget to uh, sorry didn't forget to change them okay that feels pretty good to me if no one even cares about a grenade that should mean we're golden because otherwise somebody would have heard that yeah we should be fine at this point somebody would have reacted if I see the slightest sign of change, we uh, change tactics, but we should be... Ooh, okay, there's just rads everywhere. There's just rads everywhere. Hazmat suit. No, I know I also said previously, I'm never going to wear the hazmat suit again. It was a mistake. It screwed me over. I'm John. I'm so smart. Um, But like, just this one occasion. Okay, it's fine. This can be uh, the swan song. For the thing. And also now there's gunfire. Over there. Which I don't like. Don't appreciate. Not sure how these guys. Like you know. Survived here. When. There's so many rads. But they did. Is that a turret? 
I think there's still a living turret here somewhere. Yeah, there is. I'll be taking that ammo, by the way. Oh, there is. Okay, just remember there's a living turret around here. Because I'm pretty sure we've killed the people. Alright, just be ready. Be alert. There's 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 a lot actually. Something something's going on. There's definitely there's definitely people. They're fighting. I'm just gonna just gonna get in here. I'm just gonna oh, oh, okay, okay, okay it's you it's you you're you're actually alive because you were inside this hole. He just took a shot from oh they're ghouls. So I just never realised they were ghouls because apparently they're they're ghouls. Okay this is this is this is this is this is this is fine. I'm just going to close the door, and it's going to be A-OK. -okay. Are they all ghouls? I'm not... Oh! Hello over there. There's... Okay. Um, We're just going to pop you in the head, and then that missed. Great. I'm just going to... This is... Okay, I'm just going to crit this individual. Okay, and then, 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 this is, this is all, this is all, this is, 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 this is fine. This is, this is, I'm just going to crit this person too, because I'm currently in hazmat and I don't, I don't appreciate it. No sign of them now. No sign of them now. I appreciate someone yelling no sign of them now. I think we should just get inside the vault, actually. We'll deal with what's left when we come back out. It's going to be fine. I say that, I've just burnt a lot of crits, actually. Also, am I out of, uh... oh good, I'm out of rads, okay. We're rad free in the vault, so I'm going to go back into armor because there's more raiders inside. Cease at once. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The vault doors were meant to withstand a direct nuclear strike. Your attempts to breach this facility are laughable. Leave at once, or there will be consequences. Whoever you are, stop. I want them to reply so I can see the, the subtitles so I know what I'm dealing with. Because there's going to be, I think, three around the corner. I'd like to see them. Survivalist. That's pretty tough. Then we've got basic radar. What I'm feeling is... One, two with gun food, then whoever's by the door, we just crit them. I just need eyes on whoever's by the door. Or we could psycho jab. Okay. They're not turning around. Who's the last one? Who's the last one? Who's the last one? Who's the last one? There we go. Go. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Uh, one. Two, three. And then we crit you. One. Two. Crit. He actually survived a crit. Bloody hell. But that's enough to level up. And there we go. That was seven extra health. Because it is... Okay, I'll get to you in a second. It's fine. Yes, what we get is every level 2.5 health additional plus endurance times at 0 0.5 and uh, how about we get it up from 7 to 7.5 going forward uh, and on top of that like another 30 odd uh, hit points because uh, i'd say that sounds like a fun time to me yes so this would be it endurance of 10 absolutely spectacular but okay i've been taking my eye off the ball here what else is available because uh, lone wanderer 4 25 action points Nice. I would like to have that. That'd be great. But it's not essential. Sneak 5 has always been optional. Better crits 3 would be not bad, given I've kind of not been killing with my crits here, which is concerning. Deeply concerning. I'd love Demo Expert 4 as well. But in the end, other than that, yeah, it's got to be. It has just got to be max out endurance. Let's make this happen. Ah, yes. Part of the problem might also have been... Adrenaline being only level 3 for 15%. That's pretty poor. But, 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 but. We're now back up to 259 out of 604. So that there, that's pretty good. But, 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 but. I've got another trick up my sleeve yet. But for the time being, just plug myself into the vault door. That means I can open her up. No trouble whatsoever. And yes, we've got ourselves an overseer to rescue. Marvellous. And actually, I get a vault tech calling just for doing that. And uh, the missions in this area are 
very short and pretty bloody simple. So we can just blitz through them pretty damn fast. Oh, and on my way in for frag grenades. Very, very nice indeed. So, okay. First up, while, uh, yes, I just get spoken to, we got ourselves a handful of uh, ghouls that need to go down. But ghouls are fine. It's all fine, don't worry. We've just got to take out a handful of ghouls uh, to kick us off here. Step one, yeah, just uh, fix up the vault, get it running. It's running on, like, emergency power. The workshops aren't functional, diddly diddly d. It's all right. Okay. See you over there, buddy. But I don't have a great shot at you. Okay, just hold still while I go over to something with an actual, you know, scope on it. That did not work. Uh, that's all absolutely fine. One shot at you, please. And okay. The others are alert, but I'm kind of okay with that, to be honest. Because they can only come from two directions. There or there. I am on a pretty good spot. Gangrenous, basic feral. I mean, I'll take a shot over in that direction. Yeah, you're moving over here at this point. That's absolutely fine. And you're coming in too. I mean, this is actually better. I was going to use a grenade to lure them out because I'd rather fight them here, where they're just walking into a shooting gallery, than having to, you know, go around corners and being up close. Okay, for now... Seems calm for the minute. No legendaries, but there will be a legendary to come. In fact, there's one guaranteed. Grab that because, yes, barter economy. Need the money. There might be one more that might have been the gangrenous I already saw. All right. So far, nothing too dramatic. Don't forget to, yes, do my little punt in the air. Just to get a bit of attention if need be. I'm pretty sure, yeah. One of you's already come around the corner. Alert. Yeah. There's nothing too close to me. If there was, they'd have been made alert. We good. That was just a thing. Just a physics object. Step one, let's get the alarms off. Let's start putting everything together. There we go. Lockdown sorted out. Next up, control board. Now, that's going to be held by a legendary ghoul, but it should not be too much trouble to deal with him. How many crits do I have? One. Okay. Everything's fine. Don't worry. Yes, yes, I know how it works. I need to find a control board. Actually, I need to find a, a control board. Singular. Just one will uh, do the job, actually. So, uh, all right. The reactor room should now be open. Calm for now. I don't believe any more should be spawning in. Not imminently. The only danger I've got is... Yeah. Be aware this is. He's a bit close range to me. All right. Just get on to him and... We should be A-OK. -okay. I just want to make sure I've got a good shot at him. I'm just going all in on the torso. If we need to crit him, we can. And one. And another. He's mutated. He's guaranteed to be legendary. Anderson goes down. No trouble. He's a big, charred, bloated lad. But we're golden. All right. Nothing else here. Grab the board. And we've also got... Ooh! Ooh! Being hit in melee generates a stealth field for 60 seconds. Dear oh cocky dear. No, sorry, not even for 60 seconds. It's a normal stealth field. It's just once every 60 seconds. Because why? Just why game? I'll take the bloody ammo. But, I mean, okay. To be honest, it's... Actually, even the weight to value ratio is garbage. That's 1 to 10. That is trash, even in a barter economy. Still, what I really want is this thing. Okay, control board. Need that to get the place up and running. So literally just up the steps, shove that into the McJibble. And we have got ourselves a, a workshop. Spectacular. And I can now go into building mode, which lets me, uh, yes, tear down this rubble and access the level proper. So, all right. Just uh, tear that down for a bit of steel because I have magic powers. And with that, we are golden. Hang on, one more. Never mind. So, hello over there. Yes, you're a survivor, apparently. You're a bit ghoulified, but be careful. Come out of uh, this mode, by the way. And be really careful. Because uh, there are ghouls in this area. 
Okay, now, technically, she doesn't know they're, like, you know, bad and evil right now. But, um, I'm just going to be opening fire on them anyway. Because she wants to have a conversation. And the last thing you want while you're having a conversation is uh, being attacked. They're not legendary. They're just named. They're just normal people. It's all absolutely fine. You're gangrenous over there. I kind of just want you to go down. I'll take 65. I've got plenty of chances to hit. Down he goes too. Back away. Yeah, she's actually fluffing with my things, isn't she? Yes, she is. Okay. I'm really sorry I killed Julian and also I killed Anderson. But the game doesn't pause during conversations. So being in conversations in an area where I know there's still, you know, enemies is kind of scary, actually. Alright. Are we good? I think we should... Be okay. I'm just going to check the corners because seriously, this. You aren't what I was expecting. Yeah, yeah, I know. Hello. You do have a pit boy. You're from a vault, but you're clearly not with Waltech. What are you doing here? Why did you help me? Look, I will answer your questions in just a second. I just need to murder everybody else around here first. I'm so sorry, but I need to kill all your teammates. Okay, I think we're pretty clear. So, okay. Yes, it was the right thing to do, but I'm going to be skipping through this as fast as possible. By the way, I'm sometimes invisible. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Here we go. So she's now supposed to walk over to Julian and say, Oh my goodness, Julian, what are you doing? Then I put down Julian. But Julian's already dead, so it's fine. So, uh, here we go. That's another quest just done. As I say, this DLC just toss quests at you. The radiation. We good. Somehow, I was spared. I'm sorry. The construction crew didn't fare as well as me. They've never done anything hostile towards me, though. Okay, good. She doesn't mind the fact that I just sort of, uh, yes, murdered everybody. But her first mission is uh, kill the ferals, who are fortunately now tagged. So, okay. Life is good. Yes, I'm doing it. I'm murdering your friends. It's fine. So, uh, okay. They're pretty low level. All things considered, just be aware someone's a bit... Alert, actually. Yeah, there is a big lad. There is a big one over there. So, okay, just take a few pot shots at you. And that looks like that's the kill right over there. And as for you, buddy, you could take a few pot shots. Honestly, crit him in the head. Just for safety. Against, you know, putrid glowing. Let's not take the risk. Okay, job done. Well... At least that's over. Let's continue. Okay, voice line confirming we're done with that. And uh, that should be the last bit of violence we actually have to do. So, okay, Barstow, what do we need to do next? Now, just to be clear, so we've, uh, you know, crossed this off here. There are various ways to artificially end various bits of DLC prematurely if you just kind of want to skip them. I consider that not in the spirit of the YOLO rule. So uh, there is an option in this first conversation to basically say, no, I hate you. I hate Volt Tech. I'm kicking you out of this vault and I'm not doing it. At which point the DLC basically ends. All of the missions are cancelled. All the stuff you can unlock in your camps by doing the missions is automatically unlocked. But I'm not going to be doing that. I feel like that's kind of cheaty. Let's do this then. Good. Though on the other other hand, do bear in mind that, uh, yes, obviously this is a building DLC. So I could probably justify doing a lot of building for a lot of XP. To keep this DLC in line with YOLO rules, I'm going to build the absolute bare minimum I can get away with. So she's getting the desk. If she wants experiments doing, I will build the absolute bare minimum to make those experiments operate. While we wait for word to spread... Perhaps you might use this time to explore Vault 88. If you can clear some of the rubble, you may be able to access some of the other building sectors. Any materials or equipment that survived may prove useful in our experiments. Now, I know what you're thinking. Okay, I've played a video game before. Whenever a video game says we need to wait for something to happen while we're waiting, why don't you do this mission? What it actually means is do this mission and then as soon as this mission is done, conveniently, at that point, we'll be able to proceed. No, this is actually not what's going on here at all. After I turn on the radio signal, it is actually a real timer. 
I can just sit here, have a nice cup of tea, and not bother exploring Vault 88, because that is a submission, and as a result, not essential for the completion of the DLC. In fact, if you open up all these tunnels, what do you get for your trouble? Rad scorpions, death claws, mole rats, and my alert queen, so we won't be cocking bothering. Turn on the beacon, and now, we wait. Alright, we do not need to do anything else. I'm just going to go and sit right next to the Overseer and aggressively not bother exploring. While we're waiting, good chance to talk about, yes, one of the good benefits of doing Vault Tech as well, which is... Okay, Vault Tech unlocks a bunch of items in your camp which can give you a permanent plus one to a particular special stat. You have one, and if you take another, it just removes it. So you may be thinking, but John, you already had one of them. You had that lovely little acrobatics thing that gives you plus one agility. Yes, for some reason, some of them are available immediately. Others only become unlocked when you actually, you know, do vault tech. So for example, if I were to use this lovely, lovely desk over here for a second... Then I trade out my agility for intelligence. So my intelligence has now been boosted plus one until I use something else to five. Which is, you know, not particularly useful to me. And this is another reason why we chose to come here. Which is, my endurance is currently 13. Base 10, boosted up by three using scav. But I can get it a bit higher yet. Here we go, look at that. I haven't bothered exploring Vault 88 at all. I've just been bumming around this starting section, making sure I've been uh, gathering up enough purified water. I have not opened a single passageway, but the game just decides, uh, you know what, good enough, you've probably explored right now, and instead uh, we get to move uh, straight on, because yeah, the exploration is not essential for completing the DLC, it's just a side thing, so I do not consider it compulsory, and it saves me a lot of danger if I just don't. So we've got three people who want in on the vault. This guy is blatantly a thief. This person's blatantly a reformed raider. This guy's blatantly an idiot. It makes no difference whatsoever what you do with uh, these two. There is, as far as I'm aware, no mechanical difference to the rest of the DLC, depending on what you do with uh, the other two. The only one that has to come in is Clem, but it doesn't matter, so I'll just be saying yes to everyone. There we go, everyone recruited, meaning power to the people is complete, and we just need to get everyone uh, set up. There's Model Citizen done, so again, this DLC just pours XP into your ear, it's marvellous. And let's just get everybody nice and dressed up. There we go, everybody in nice skin type blue and gold, I love it. And so begins the first experiment. We need to test out a brand new exercise bike on poor old Clam, so... Uh, Alright, that is going to produce some... I don't have screws. Okay, this is... this is awkward. Uh, okay, I'm pretty sure I saw a fan dotted about, so hang about. Just need to find some stuff with, um, screws in it. I kind of thought I wouldn't need to bother bring anything with me. There's two. Uh, okay, what else do we need? Uh, toy cars, phones don't have screws, unfortunately. Okay, hang on. I just need to find one cocking screw. Oh, second fan. That'll do the job. There we go. Marvellous. I can now build a power cycle. Because, yes, I've got, like, so much rubber. More rubber than I could ever do anything with. But not much in the way of screws, apparently. So, okay. One prototype. Lovely. But uh, that is going to need... Uh, okay, that needs a terminal. Okay, just need to set that up quickly. Fortunately, terminals don't actually need uh, screws, so get that up. Hook that into this. This actually produces power, so shouldn't that work immediately? Because then again, actually, hang on. So I need the terminal to set this up. But until it's set up, it can't produce power to power the... Ooh, catch 22, but in Fallout. Actually, hang on. There is a ton of power in here. I just can't remember where it is, because there's a massive generator hidden down in the lower section. I think it might be, yeah, something I can't access just yet. Because, uh, yeah, this here lovely generator is not, uh, not looking so hot. So, okay, I'm just going to build a small generator just because I don't want to... No, 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 we're fine. Just going to build a small one. It's all going to be A-OK. -okay. For some reason, I can't build just a small generator. But I can build a windmill. So we're going to be building a flying windmill right now for reasons i'm not a hundred percent clear about but that will power the terminal despite being underground where there's no 
Let's not think about it too hard. Let's just get this done. And at this point, we just choose which experiment we're going to be doing. So we can, yes, use it to produce power, or we can just use it to be a nice thing that Clem gets to have a lovely ride on. So we're going to make sure Clem has a lovely time in the vault and basically screw the overseer. She absolutely despises this, but it's just going to be, you know, a nice exercise bike. There we go. Clem's done. And also the bike sort of explodes. I can't remember whether that could have hurt me if I'd have been standing closer. I'm not sure. So, he had a lovely time. Then, the bike kind of exploded anyway. But up to that point, he was just having a lovely afternoon. <clears throat> oh, man. I'm sorry. I broke your vault. I, I just got so excited and I wanted to do a good job. And I kept pedaling faster and faster. And then the whole vault went kablooey. Please don't kick me out. Honestly, Clem, it was only like, you know, one turbine and one bike. It's not really a big loss. The Overseer, however, is not impressed. If I am reading the report correctly, you chose a lavender and vanilla aroma dispenser. I feel really relaxed. This vault is the best. Ugh. We're engineering a new society, you know. Not some sort of day spa. My clothes still smell funny. For the next experiment, we'll need something from outside. vault subcontracted our chemical research to Hallucigen Incorporated. It was supposed to be delivered before. Well, before. But, with the mail service out of commission, other arrangements must be made. So here we go. This here is the only dungeon, aside from, you know, this tiny area you need to actually get into, that the entirety of this DLC needs you to do. It needs you to complete Hallucinogenic, which is actually not as hard as it sounds. And that also completes Power to the People, so we're very close by to, yes, level 53. Absolutely spectacular. And even more important than that... Completing Power to the People means we have now got a brand new tab in Resources. Resources Vault. So I can now build... Or at least I could if I had any cocking screws. Hang on, where have we got some screws? Ooh, typewriters! Right, we'll be breaking that down. That's worth a handful of screws. And did I see another fan over here? That's a fan. Good, 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 good. So, okay. Power Cycle 1000. Not the prototype. This one. This one's just fine. And doesn't explode. And is very, very useful indeed. Because uh, this one, when I sit on it in just a second. Uh, there we go. Just do a bit of cycling. Endurance boost added. This here is the item which you cannot build until you've got this far in the Voltaic DLC. That gives me a permanent plus one to endurance until I use something else that replaces that boost. Meaning if I just eat some food to get rid of minus one endurance off a package. Then my new health bar is looking... Oh, so very healthy. Endurance up to 14. Hit points up to 290 out of 634. Now that, that'll do the job. Obviously, it does mean I am giving up a point of agility. So I am slightly less stealthy than I was. But honestly, I feel like this is essential. Like, just consider where we are in terms of health right now, next to where we were just a couple of parts ago, it's a big difference. I feel like this is essential, actually. There's no way around this, by the way. You've got to go to Hallucinogenic to actually proceed any further with vault Tech. So, okay, back we flipping go, and uh, if we're very lucky indeed, I might be able to just teleport away the moment I step outside, because uh, there's clearly still some trouble nearby. Oh, here we go. Outside. Still gunfire, but if I am very, very lucky indeed, then what we might be about to achieve is just, you know, teleport straight away. Come on, game, let's go. Yes, that looks promising. And darn it. Okay, there are enemies nearby. So I've got to get some distance between me and them. Or just sort of uh, wait for them to finish each other off. By the way, I'll be having a frag grenade. I shan't say no. I mean, if they're firing, that means they're firing at something. That means, eventually, that thing... What the flip is that? What? 
What is that? I don't know. It, it might be a physics object that's going bananas. I've I've no clue what that is. Okay, this is this is all fascinating. I'm just gonna try again. Okay, they might have wandered far enough away and darn it. I think we need to put on Just keep your eyes open. One survivalist, one raider. I think we need to just take them out. They might be about above me. Okay. There was just an explosion in the distance. Possibly vertebrates. Yeah. I think we just need to uh, do it, unfortunately. Go over to Hazmat Suit again. And, yeah. There's Rads. Now... I know there is. Then again, actually, no, I went into caution through that door. I went into caution through that door. Step outside for a sec. Let's just get some distance between me and them. Don't like this. Don't like this at all. But I'm not close to being detected. They must be the far side of the compound. Otherwise, yeah, the detection would be way closer. The brackets would be moving. Let's just get over here, back to the roads. We might be able to snipe off. Whatever that is before the end. John, the door's over here. Just chill out. Move. Let's go. As soon as we're back on the road, we should be. Okay, please do not look at me. Stupid spotlight. I do not appreciate it. Alright. We golden. Hopefully that's going to be good enough. That brings me to 229 in total. That should be fine. Let's just teleport away, please. And boom. So, back in central Boston. And uh, yes, if I wanted to keep doing Volt Tech at the moment, I'd need to clear out the whole of Hallucinogenic. And uh, that's a big, scary dungeon. Or is it? Because yes, there's actually something rather special about that building. Number one, it's located just around the corner from, you know, central Boston. Right by my base. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right here. But... I'm not interested in the bloody front door. Because round the back of the building, we have got... Oh, bloody hell, there's a... There's a copter. That's fine, it's taking on a synth over there somewhere, so okay. Yes, we have got ourselves a back door, which is master locked. Okay. This here is almost unique in all of Fallout 4, which is almost all the back doors, the Skyrim doors, if you will, are, you know, chained and whatever. Okay, they've exploded, that's fine. This one isn't. You can skip this entire dungeon if you have got master lock picking. All right? Right there. No trouble whatsoever. So, honestly, that's currently the plan. I'm going to leave Volt Tech aside just for the moment and instead come back later when I can just skip the entire damn dungeon. Especially when I've got a couple of much easier, much safer ways of pushing myself over into the next level. Step one, Cabot House wanted a delivery. I've got it on my person. We picked up a... He's just doing an idle animation. It's fine. He doesn't want to murder me. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Please don't. I don't like money. Please stop giving me money. Instead, we just mosey around the corner because, uh, you may recall, by sheer accident, I stumbled across one of uh, Pam's missions, one of the jackpot quests. There we go. That's not much XP. Instead, a giant pile of money. I don't want a giant pile of money. That doesn't... Then I got 82 more, and I don't know why. Okay, seriously, everybody needs to stop giving me money. One day, sooner or later, it's literally going to kill me. So let's just get rid of that cash by, yeah, trading it out for two frag grenades off Tinker Tom. Not bad at all. And there we go, back up to 290. Much better. Well, sadly, in the end, therefore, not quite enough to push us over to the next level. But 
I still think we could be pretty happy with what's been done today. Next week, we are taking a very long walk north because it's time to go to Far Harbour. Bloody hell, it's a nightmare, but there are some really powerful perks we could pick up there that would make our lives so much easier in Automatron, the rest of Nuka World, everything. So, okay, join me next week, ladies and gentlemen, as I jump out of the frying pan and into the fire because... Nuka World we enter a treat out of, uh, now I'm just diving into Far Harbour instead. So uh, we'll see if that works out for me. It probably won't, but you know what? We'll muddle through. It's fine. I'm sure it's all under control. So hopefully you join me next week for that. But in the meantime, I bid you this has been many a true nerd. And this has been Fallout 4. You only live once. Thank you very much and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got a... I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out... Die, you moving bastards! Die! Die! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.